My name is Heather Mum. Um, my player name is Sapphire. So I'm going to talk about pistol rounds, save rounds, eco rounds, and why and when you should buy certain weapons, certain armor, and grenades. When you're a terrorist on pistol round, I'd suggest that at least four players on your team should have armor. Your opponents are going to have P2000s or Deagles on the counter-terrorist team, so having armor is going to help keep you alive for longer. However, I'd suggest that at least one player should have grenades. It's going to help um, allow you to have more versatile strats. A good grenade to have is a smoke grenade. Um, you could smoke down in this middle area here, and this is going to help protect you from some deagles waiting on the other side. You'll, you'll be able to get off the catwalk quickly. Um, if you have a, a flash, it's going to help your team enter into the site. So it's really important for one player to at least have a few grenades to allow you to have more strat options. And the rest of your team can have armor. And that's going to keep you alive for longer. As a counter-terrorist on your pistol round, you're going to do a, a few things different than you would on the terrorist side. The, the default gun for terrorists, which is a Glock, isn't going to kill you in one shot. Um, therefore, you really don't need armor. It's more important to have grenades. For example, if you're at the long A here, a quick grenade into this tunnel area is going to stop a rush and it's going to allow your team its extra time to rotate. Or if, you're, if the terrorists are rushing up the catwalk here, a flash is going to slow them down. It's going to allow your, your teammates from over at the B-bomb site to rotate. It's also great to have a kit because pistol rounds can come down to really close 1v1 situations. You're not going to have much time to defuse. It's very important to have a kit. Both counter-terrorists and terrorists in Counter-Strike GO, there's the dual Berettas. In older versions of Counter-Strike, only the terrorists were able to buy this gun. It's actually a, a decent gun, and a lot of people make fun of it. Uh, oh, you know, someone bought dualies and they're just messing around. But it's actually an accurate gun. The nice thing about it, it shoots incredibly rapidly compared to a Deagle, which you can't spam like this. So it's actually great for rushes. So if, if your opponent's rushing up here and you spot a lot of them, you can actually do some decent damage. You're not going to get the headshots like you do with a Deagle, which are one-shot kills similar to this, but you are able to spam and you are able to do significant damage with these guns. If you lose the first round, you're going to be on round two. Um, you're not going to have a lot of money because you didn't win that round. So a lot of times it's good to either save completely, um, just essentially forfeit the round so you can gain money in the next round, or you can buy a Deagle. The Deagle is a pistol, but it's incredibly accurate. It's essentially like the op of pistols. You're going to get a lot of one-shot kills with this if, if your aim is on. So I'd really suggest that gun. It's, it's only $800. It's enough that you're not wasting your money, but you still have a legitimate chance of winning that round. On Counter Terrorist 2, if you win the round, it's also great to buy is the Mag 7. It's kind of a, a one-shot, one-kill. Um, you're going to want to be close up to the players. It's not great at long range. It, it shoots multiple bullets at a time, as you can see here. So you're going to want to play it in close corners. Maybe you can get in this corner and wait for your opponent. You really don't want to make these long range shots because it's not going to be accurate. You can see the, the bullets are coming down here even though you're aiming higher. Another second round uh, gun that's, that's really great to buy is the FAMAS. It's very similar to the GLIL. Um, it has a different aspect though in that it has both a burst fire and an automatic mode. So the automatic mode is, is going to be great for uh, close range combat, um, while the burst fire is really good for long range. It's going to allow you to be a little more accurate. Automatic, it's great for spamming. So if, you're, if your opponent's rushing at you, there's five men coming your way, it's good to just spam this, pull down to control the recoil. After the second round, even if you lost the first two rounds, terrorists are going to start buying AKs. A lot of counter-terrorists aren't going to buy guns yet. That's because they're going to stick with their, their SMGs, they're going to stick with their mosses or their pistols. 
So an AK gives you a legitimate shot at winning the round. It's essentially a headshot machine. It's, it's also got a, a great chance of a one shot, one kill. It's a lot more accurate than, than a, any of the SMGs. So it's a great third round weapon. It's also a great weapon for the rest of the, the match, essentially. The last thing I'll say about the, the economy system is when you're getting into um, gun rounds, which is usually round three and beyond when both teams have a weapon, the AWP is a fantastic gun. It's, it's incredibly accurate. Um, it's great for long range combat. It has a, a single scope and a dual scope. However, when you do get a kill with it, it's only $50 per kill. And it's also one of the most expensive guns. So you're not going to want to have many of these on your team. You're going to want one or two per team at most. The other guns you should have will be um, on a counter-terrorist team, you're going to want the M4, which it's going to give you slightly more money per, per kill, $300 compared to $50 with the AWP, but it's not as great for long-range combat. However, it's fantastic for stopping rushes. So if your opponent is rushing into the B-bomb site here, you can just strafe over, spray them down, or you can also do a tap maneuver. So by tapping, you're going to be a little more accurate than you would spraying, because you can control the recoil.